The moment has arrived. Game seven of the NBA Finals. The Phoenix Suns have reached the final destination. An epic journey is nearly complete. The opportunity to win the ultimate prize in a series that will go the distance. They must bring all they can muster against the Atlanta Hawks. Game seven of the NBA Finals. It's a rare and wonderful thing for the NBA Finals to come down to a single game. And after an intense series, these teams are ready to do whatever it takes to walk away with the win. Tonight, it'll be the Atlanta Hawks going up against the Phoenix Suns. I'm Brian Anderson. With me tonight, Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson with Ali LaForce joining us courtside. Here are the five for the Suns. Devin Booker out there with Jalen Brunson. Then there's Kevin Durant, then it's MP, and it's Bowl in at the center, filling out the middle. And for the Hawks, Bay and Capella there inside. The talented duo of Young and Murray of the backcourt. And it's Griffin in at the small forward position. You look at the Suns, one game, winner take all to determine the champion. Grant, talk about the pressure of a game seven on the road. Well, B.A., it doesn't get much greater, but they're built for this. They've showed it all season long. The summer is the time to rest, so leave it all on the line now. So Atlanta will get the first possession. Now Young. Because he is an unselfish point guard. And Booker puts up a deep three. Ooh, he released it in time, but it's off the mark. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. The Hawks on top, up two. And we'll be back right after this. Greetings one and all, the postseason drama we love and no disappointment here as it's a close game so far for the Atlanta Hawks. Well, they're taking care of the ball, that's one thing. It feels like they just want to avoid empty possessions. And for the most part, they have. Like Shaq Shadamas, their advantage is foresight. Mm, we see things others don't. Yama, 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 yama. Taking a look at the situation for the Phoenix Suns. Game seven, we know how much is at stake. Kenny, what's it like to play in one of these? Well, it, it's normal to have some nerves. Now, I'm, I'm, you can't shake those off, but those butterflies, they quickly remove when the game starts. Normally, guys get better in the second half. First of all, uh, Ernie, you shouldn't be asking the earthling that question because me, I never got nervous. I instilled fear in my opponents. So let's see who's built for this pressure. The Diesel. Pulling no punches, as usual. Thanks for joining us. Time to head back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. And here we go. The NBA Finals continue here on 2K Sports. Hey, you look at MP in this game. He's been everywhere. And if he felt any pressure coming into this game, he sure hasn't shown it. NBA Finals run, they capture the hearts of not just their fans, but basketball fans around the league. An incredible ending to one of the more dramatic finals we've seen. Counter punches thrown between these teams for seven games. We say it often, it's too bad you can have only one winner, but they deserve it. And what a huge performance it was for MP. He was just dropping dimes left and right out there. Any opening that the D provided, he exploited it and found his teammates. There's Young with the three. Misses there. Oh, and it's over. The Phoenix Suns are the new NBA champs. Thank you once again for coming out to cheer with your team. They go on the road and take care of business. And now the championship is theirs. 
to be on the road to silence the crowd, winning a championship with all of it on the line. What an incredible performance. Hats off to this team. An incredible moment. You can see it in their faces. Forever known as NBA champions. And you can bet back home the celebration has started. Time now to send it to Adam Silver, the commissioner of the NBA, for the trophy presentation. Time now for the trophy ceremony. NBA commissioner Adam Silver ready to present the Larry O'Brien trophy to the champions. Kendra, we'll start with you. Thank you. MP, congratulations on the championship. Thanks. Thanks, Kendra. Can you talk about having your father join you for the press conference? Was that his idea or yours? His, for sure. There's no way I was going <laughs> to let him sit up here and take credit all by himself. Do you have any idea how many times I shagged balls for this kid at 2 a.m.? <laughs> that's true. That's true. But it's only because he felt guilty he didn't work nearly as hard when he was in the uh, league. I want to tell you about them false narratives. Come on, now. <laughs> no, no. He knows I'm just playing. Oh, man. Uh, look, uh, to be serious, though, it was my idea. Um, I wouldn't be here without my family. They're everything to me. Not just my dad, but my grandpa. Y'all you know, know him as Truck. But to me, he's always just been grandpa. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he was around so much that he honestly was like a second father to me. And, um, you know, he was always supporting, always teaching. I just wish he was here to see this. Anyway, uh, next question. Uh, please, you, 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 in the back, in the back. 有人说您是继已故科比布莱恩特之后在中国最受欢迎的NBA运动员。您对这件事有什么感想? There are some who say that you're the most popular NBA athlete in China since the late Kobe Bryant. How do you feel about that? Uh, wow. <laughs> Listen, I'm not going to get into who's the most popular, but anytime you're mentioned in the same breath as someone like Kobe, that's a huge honor. You know, he was my hero growing up. Uh, excuse me? After, after my dad, <laughs> calm down, Pop, okay? <laughs> Obviously. Um, most kids, you know, worship LeBron, and he is a GOAT for sure, but I always loved Kobe's game. Aesthetically, it was just beautiful basketball, you know? And his approach to winning is something I try to emulate as much as I can. Um, I've got a lot to accomplish before I reach that same level, but to be mentioned with him, that means everything to me. And if people in China love me like they loved Kobe, that's incredible. Because Chinese fans, they know ball. Shit, shit. Thank you. Hope I said that right. Thank y'all. Hey, All right, on that note, good night, good night, good night. Yeah, Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Yo. <laughs> Thank y'all. Oh, now that MP's won Rookie of the Year, MVP, a championship, finals MVP, and in your own words, it has the most impressive start to a career in NBA history, what's next for the new undisputed GOAT, Sam? Well, first of all, he is not undisputed as GOAT. 
I feel like a broken record at this point, but he's got to do it all over again at least a few times. So you're saying he'll bust? That's not what I'm saying. Then what are you saying? That if he wants to be considered the greatest of all time, he's got to win a lot of championships, and he's got to be the most important player on his team when he does it. So you, you think he won't? I didn't say that. All right. What chance do you give him becoming the GOAT? I don't know. 30%? That's it? That's a high number, man. Look at Brandon Roy, Yao Ming, Tracy McGrady. All of these guys had great starts to their career, but they were derailed by injury. Ooh, don't you ever mention them in the same sentence again, okay? <laughs> Look, you just itching for something to happen to MP. And quite frankly, man, it's disgusting. No, no, no. I hope he makes it, Sean. I really do. I'm just a cautious guy. Yeah, explains why you eat so much salad. That is called being healthy, and I like salad. They're saying you've had the greatest start to a career in NBA history. I'm saying, duh. <laughs> 